coverage you can count on continues with all you need to know. We have a quick traffic alert for drivers on Terre Haute's north side. The Terre Haute Police Department tells us that CSX Railroad is repairing a broken track. This is on North 25th Street between Florida Avenue and Steelton Avenue. The repair should be done by 9 this morning. An Indiana Gaming Commission meeting is planned for today. The agenda includes a settlement offer for Lucy Luck Gaming. Now you may remember the Gaming Commission denied Lucy Luck a license renewal. The company appealed, questioning if the commission properly made its decision. Wednesday, the Gaming Commission is set to award a license to one of four other companies. News 10's John Swanner will be closely monitoring all of these developments this week. He will bring you complete coverage here on News 10. Today, we could learn the name of the victim in a weekend ATV crash. According to the Sullivan County Sheriff's Office, it happened around 4 Saturday afternoon. Authorities say it was near a wooded area just west of Hymera. Emergency crews arrived to find the driver had already died. Jurors in the Kyle Rittenhouse trial are expected to begin deliberating today after closing arguments. Rittenhouse testified he was under attack when he killed two men and wounded a third with his rifle. That happened at a police shooting protest last year in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Nancy Chen has continuing coverage on this story at 715 Eastern on CBS Mornings. Well, if you need a COVID-19 vaccination, the Vigo County Health Department will hold a clinic today at Operating Engineers. That's located at 6801 South U.S. Highway 41. Hours are 10 to 1. The Vigo County School Corporation will hold more community meetings this week. That's regarding the three high school construction proposals. Tomorrow, there will be a meeting at Terre Haute North Vigo High School. It'll start at 6 in the evening. We are going to see temperatures in the mid 40s by the end of the afternoon. Afternoon showers are going to be possible, but at most are light sprinkles, maybe a few stray snowflakes here and there across the Wabash Valley. If you have to do anything outside, it's not going to be comfortable most of the time. It's going to be cold, very winter like. And tonight we're in the mid 30s again, 35. Very low temperatures, but not as low as they were this morning, leading to a warm up tomorrow. We're mostly sunny, lower 60s by the end of the day. Not too bad if you can put off any outdoor chores that you need to get done uh, this week until tomorrow. That's going to be the best day this week to get outside and enjoy the weather. Over the course of the day, Wednesday, we're warm, but rain showers move in and then it's going to be cold.